Godot 4 is sailing into view and the excitement is really starting to build, especially with the recent news that thanks to funding provided by W4 Games, Godot will have a booth at GDC in March 2024. Godot is rising in popularity on YouTube, so if you're new to Godot or already an experienced developer, I've found some videos that will appeal to you both. Game Dev Journey. Journey. Chris's Tutorials is a huge tutorial channel and usually he makes videos for Unity. However, given the imminent release of Godot 4 and its rise in popularity, he started to make tutorials for it. This is great news for newcomers to the engine because Chris makes excellent tutorials and has a large following, so this will only serve to spread the word of Godot 4 even more. If you're looking for helpful and well-made tutorials to assist you with starting game development in Godot 4, then please check out Chris's channel. If you want to know how to make custom progress bars with rounded corners in a tutorial which lasts just 90 seconds, then Salty the Geek is the channel for you. Salty is pretty much brand new to YouTube and to have his first game dev tutorial be in Godot is just something special. Please leave a comment for Salty to encourage him to make some more. Apart from basic character movement, your character's attack is perhaps the next most important part of your game. If you're struggling with this at the moment, then you're in luck because Not Inferno is showing people how to make a melee attack in Godot the easy way. Also new to Game Dev on YouTube, he currently has content for Unity and Godot. Let's hope that he makes more for Godot because if these first videos are anything to go by, they will be good. If you want to know what's new in Godot 4 versus Godot 3 in a relaxed and chilled way, then you should watch the video by Lou the Coder. He highlights some of the new features Godot 4 comes with, and he also gives you a glimpse of a scene that he's been working on in Godot to test out global illumination. So if you're wondering what's coming in Godot 4, this is the video for you. So, why should you use Godot 4 and not just stick with 3? This is a question which is being asked frequently at the moment and Letter Corporation has a video out with all the good reasons for making the switch. If you've been asking yourself the same question or wondering if you should switch from another engine to Godot 4, then watch this video to help you make the right decision. Finally, Oz has released a new version of his Terrain module for Godot Engine. If you want a plugin which will help you to create beautiful 3D terrain in Godot, then why not use Oz's plugin and save yourself valuable time which you can put into other areas of your game. That's all for this week, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you all again next time.